my channel. So today I filmed another full look for you and this time I recently picked up a few bits from Kylie Cosmetics and I thought I would do a look kind of using the things that I got. I got the Copper Cream Eyeshadow and the Love Bite lip kit and I thought kind of like golds and plums and that sort of colour really really popular around this time of year so I kind of created a look around these so I really hope you guys enjoy it super super easy as well and I'm literally obsessed with it we've got some white liner in the waterline as well to kind of open up our eyes a bit so a bit more of like a light smoky full look type thing yeah I really hope you guys enjoy this look make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do and subscribe if you haven't already and let's go ahead and get started So to begin, I've been really loving using the Touch of Dewy Skin Mist to kind of hydrate my skin and because I'm a bit lazy, I didn't want to apply a moisturizer. This just gives a really nice hydrated base before we apply our primer and foundation. And I'm just buffing the excess kind of product into my skin before applying the primer. And the primer we're using today is the Tarte Smoothing Primer. I've been really loving this at the moment. And again, just buffing that into the skin because it's quite thick. This just, like it says, just really smooths out the skin and I find my foundation applies a lot nicer over the top. Speaking of which, today we're using a new foundation. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'm just going ahead and dampening my beauty blender to make sure that we absorb the excess from this because this is a medium to full coverage foundation. A new concealer today as well. This is the Becca Aqua Luminous Concealer in the shade Fair and I'm just applying that in all the places that I want to bring forward and highlight. So you know the drill underneath your eyes, down the bridge of your nose, your chin, etc, etc and then just using the same beauty blender to blend that all in. Taking my favourite powder, this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, just using that to bake underneath my eyes and then just using the excess that's on the brush over the rest of my skin just to really smooth it out, make sure it's all set in place and make it last all day and also any powders we put on top are going to apply a lot smoother. Speaking of which, today we are taking the Peachsing Cream Makeup and it is, wait, we're not taking the Peachsing Cream, oh yeah we are, taking the Peaches and Cream Makeup bronzer in the shade medium to dark and just applying that all over the places I want to warm up so basically kind of like the frame of my face and then we're going to sculpt out our cheekbones again using the sculpting powder from Peach and Makeup so this is just a lot cooler in tone so we're going to take a much smaller brush and just apply the places we want to narrow which for me is my cheekbones and my nose. For blusher, I'm taking one of my favourite blushes of all time. This is the Makeup Geek Blusher in Romance. Such a gorgeous rose gold colour and it gives such a beautiful highlight and shimmer to the cheeks as well. And it's not too pink, so I love it. And taking a new highlighter, I'm obsessed with this one. This is from Jouer and it's in the shade Topaz. I really want to get the other one. I think it's called Citroen or something. But this one's just slightly more of a bronzier colour. But I still think it's light enough to wear if you're more of a medium to fair colour. And yeah, I'm really loving it. They are so, so, so pigmented. For brows, I'm taking these three products. I always leave them listed down below if you don't catch them this time. And I'm sculpting them out using the Kevin O'Quan Skin Enhancer in SX04. And oh my god, I don't to toot my own horn. I was obsessed with my brows this day. Now, before we get started, I'm going to apply the Glam Glow Glossy Lip Plumping Mask because as we're kind of using Kylie Cosmetics and it's not really like a Kylie-inspired look, but I was getting Kylie vibes. I wanted to make my lips feel a lot bigger for when I applied the liquid lipstick, so this is just going to help prime them. For eyeshadows, I'm taking one of Makeup Geek's new full releases. This is Early Bird, definitely one of my new favourite transition shades. Such a gorgeous warm orange colour, and I'm just buffing that in using a MAC 224. Then I'm taking another new shadow from Makeup Geek. This is Sidekick. All of them are linked down below. I'm taking a MAC 217, so a slightly smaller blending brush. And just placing that into the crease, and then going back in with that bigger fluffy brush to make sure everything is blended seamlessly. Then I'm taking the Kylie Cos copper cream eyeshadow, sorry, and this applying that all over my lid, technically kind of more like the inner three quarters of the eye, because then we are going to go in with a gorgeous foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek as well, this is their newer ones, and it is in the shade Curtain Call, like I said, a really gorgeous um, foiled colour, this would look stunning all over the lid if you've got green eyes, definitely worth checking this one out, and then I'm just placing this with a flat brush on the kind of outer corner of my eye, and making sure it is blended in with the copper. Then I am mixing a sidekick and I think this is Cabin Fever on a slightly smaller defined crease brush and just concentrating this on the very most outer part of our eye to add that definition and then obviously once again going back in with the fluffy brushes we've been using previously to make sure it's all blended together. 
Then I'm taking the Sidekick shade, I think this is, on a pencil brush and just really smoking that out on the, the lower lash line and connecting it into the shadow. And then going back in with that flat brush again and picking up again that purple foiled shadow, just placing that in the kind of inner lower part of our lower lash line. Then I'm lining my waterline using the Sleek Makeup White Noise Ooh la la eyeliner. This is definitely one of the most pigmented white eyeliners that I own and it's definitely my go-to and it's from Sleek so it's super affordable as well. And then just applying the Jouer highlighter in the inner corner as a highlight. For mascara, I'm taking the Tarte Tartius Mascara and then going in with these Miami Lily Lashes, which are actually supposedly Kylie Jenner's favourite lashes. And these are the finished eyes. I'm obsessed. Super quick and easy and I think they are so, so, so pretty. And then the final step is obviously to apply the lip and I'm going in with Kylie Love Bite, which I think is currently out of stock, but she always restocks things. And this one was definitely a really popular one, so I'm sure she'll be restocking it really, really soon. And this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Bye!